Oh yes, it's Monday. It's 6.30. It can only mean one thing. That's right. It's time to grab a football, get your boots on, and take yourself out into the garden or across to the park for some football training. But before we get into this evening's session, we have a very special guest with a special message just for you. Hi everyone, it's Jenna Clark here from Glasgow City. Hope you're all safe and well. I know it's a really difficult time just now not being able to play football and see your teammates, but I'm sure we'll all be back playing soon. Over the next couple of weeks, I'll be here to answer any questions, so make sure you get them sent in. As well as this, I'll send in some of my training footage. Stay safe and I'll speak to everyone soon. Okay, another week of lockdown, um, which means it's another week of uh, YouTube video training. So this week we're doing a little bit of um, change of direction. Uh, there'll be a link to a video showing Cristiano Ronaldo um, challenging a sprinter. Who's the fastest over a straight line, but then who's the fastest over a short distance changing direction. So. First wee exercise we've got is a little bit of a uh, change of direction exercise, so we'll just uh, move on to that. Okay, this one, um, we've got some cones set out here, taking a bit of a, a zigzag. And the idea is just really to sprint between each cone, changing direction, sprinting back. So we'll do it first of all without the ball, and then what you want to do is take the ball and dribble. So it's just very quickly over, sprinting, changing direction, yeah. Nice and wet as it is today because we are in Scotland. So, first part of the exercise is just very quickly. You can use cones like we've done or rocks, jumpers, just anything to put down so that you can create a wee zigzag. Okay, next bit you can do is just taking the ball again, dribbling. Round the cones. Um, so do that, maybe set yourself a time limit, see how many times you can do it in 30 seconds, or do it maybe four or five times. So that's a little bit of a sprinting drill, getting your feet moving, change of direction, and then doing it with the ball. Okay? Okay, the next exercise is a wee bit of um, control, turning, and then moving with the ball. So this exercise is really to try and replicate what sometimes happens in the game. So I'll try and demonstrate. Basically what you're doing is throwing the ball up. You're going to sort of trap and turn the ball. You do it inside this square, which is really about two meters by two meters. So what you're trying to do is not fall either way and take it. So it's kind of replicating what's happening in the game. Maybe a player being round about you. So that'll give you enough room to take the ball around them and, and drive on. So, Try and show you. It's all coming up. Outside. And shoot. The ball up. Not going to go a bit too far. Shoot. Station. Ball up. is to try and get away from your player. When the ball is coming up in the air, what you should try and do is maybe have a quick scan as if there's a player behind you to decide whether you're going to go left or right. You think I can go the other way? Into the guard. So, 
what you're trying to do is just replicate a gameplay scenario. Use your little square, throw the ball up. Even if you've got a family member that can throw the ball to you, so that you can have it controlling as the ball comes to you. Take a quick look over your shoulder, get it under control, and move outside the square. And that'll give you the room to maybe turn and have a shot or make a pass. Okay? Okay, the next exercise, we'll set up a wee square here, two meters by two meters. And the idea is we're gonna try and replicate a gameplay scenario where the ball's coming to you. You may have a defender close by or a mother midfielder. And what you want to do is take control of the ball and turn left or right and get yourself away from that player. So what we'll do is first of all we'll just be dropping the ball onto our foot and then we'll turn one way or the other. So very nice and easy. We just do is we start and we just drop the ball. So you're just dropping it onto your foot. Just knocking it out with that square so that you've got some room. Do it the other way, turn and away. If you're all right footed, I'm left footed, so I want to go to my right, you want to turn to your left. So what you can do is you can progress, so you can throw the ball up and then climb and turn. You could even get a family member to throw the ball towards you, so the ball's coming in at a different angle. But what you're trying to do is just control, knock it out with the spear, and then either make the pass or turn and shoot. One of the things that you can do as well, just to try and replicate that game, is as the ball's dropping or coming to you, you take a quick look over your shoulder. So this is just an exercise, it's just a play and repeat one. Do it time and time again. You can throw the ball higher, you can get the ball thrown in quicker um, and it will just really give you a good idea of taking the ball under control and imagining it, it's been done under pressure. Okay, give it a go, see how you get on. Okay, that's a couple of little exercises um, on the zigzag sprinting. If you don't have the cones or anything, one thing that would be really good for replicating a game um, or the change of direction and going around an obstacle is if you get your garden bins or your recycling bins and set them up in a zigzag. That's a bigger obstacle to get around and that will really replicate sort of changing direction, sort of going past the player. Uh, as I said earlier, watch the Ronaldo versus the Sprinter video. You get to see how he changes reaction. He gets his center of gravity down low. He uses both feet. He drives off with his outside foot and he does a lot of short sprinting. So. It's not about having a long stride, it's having about a quick short stride that allows you to change direction really quickly. So practice these things and again, can't wait to see you girls once we're back out of lockdown. So remember that a lot of football is about fooling your opponent into thinking that you're going to do one thing and then doing, a, doing something else. Uh, so one of the skills that we're going to look at this evening is the shimmy or the dummy. And all that really means is kind of throwing your body weight one way so that your opponent thinks you're going that way and then you take the ball the other. And we're going to build up to doing the skill um, just in a few basic steps. So as you can see uh, this evening the part of the defender is played by my blue recycling bin. So what I've done to start with is I've marked out just using little bits of garden cane. You can use whatever um, just to make an idea of where, how far out the defender um, would be able to stretch their leg. Obviously it's a static bin, a defender's more likely to move a little bit, um, but the, it still just gives you an idea of when you actually want to start making a move to the side. So it's really key, there's no point in making your move um, you know, when you're two metres away and you can't make the move when you're too close because then they're, they're going to get it with their foot. So starting point really, just uh, kind of approach your bin or whatever your obstacle is. And just get the feel for just using the outside of your foot okay so that's really important we want to be using the outside of the foot every time so just give yourself a few goes don't worry about the the dummy or the shimmy at the moment this is just about getting the feel and um, for pushing it out to the side with the outside of your foot okay so it's uh it's just one one little change of direction and then start thinking about okay how am i going to push my body weight over how am i going to make them think that i'm going one way and go the other and really, when you're doing this, just exaggerate, okay? This, um, for practicing your skills, 
it really makes sense to exaggerate. So really kind of throw your body weight over one way and then push it the other. And remember the other good thing about putting a lot of weight on um, when you push your body weight over to one side, it's going to give you something more to push off and give you a bit of thrust when you push on the side that you're actually going to take the ball. So you start building that into, into running up with the ball and start off as slow as you like. Just get comfortable with when you're going to make that first move and make sure that you catch the ball nice and solid with the outside of your foot. Not too solid because you don't want it firing off too far. And make sure that your next touch is kind of bringing it right back under control. So again, just do as many of these as you want to get comfortable with it. As you can see, I've, I've taken a, a fair few. And then once you're a bit happier with that, then speed it up. And all you're doing is exactly the same thing. You just want to get there a bit faster and you want to make your move and then push it to the other side. And the more you do this, the more your body is going to be feeling this is a really natural thing to do. And it's just, it's all about just practice that timing when you're going to make your move, push your weight onto one side and then really push off with that foot and push the ball out away from the defender. Okay. And again, you just do as many of those as, as you want. All right. There's really, there's, there's no such thing as doing too much of this. The more natural it feels, the much more likely you are to put it in a game situation and you're going to do it right. Well, as you can see, that blue bin wasn't the world's best defender, so the managers brought on the big number 12 to see if this new centre half can do any better. But what I've done, I've just put them, um, so a bin in the middle again, um, but the two other bins on the outside, just to replicate a wee bit more like in a game where you are up against more than one player at a time. All right, so these other two bins, these are just other opposing players. And it's just to encourage you that when you take that touch out to the side, you're not firing the ball too far off. Okay, it's got to be under control and you can't risk that you beat the player that you're trying to beat and you accidentally hit the ball into another opposition player. So that kind of defeats the purpose. So anything you can do to just set up a bit more of a game situation and um, let you think about more than one thing at once, you can do things like this in your garden. So if you're quite happy with that side step, the kind of shimmy, then next thing to try is a step over. Step over, very similar to the side step that we've just been doing. Uh, the only difference, instead of doing that kind of lunge to the side, it's actually, it's a, well, it's what it says, it's a step over. So make sure that your leg goes over to the outside of the ball and again, use that foot to push off um, and push the ball with the outside of the other foot the other way. Um, it's actually a wee bit harder to do just slowly, um, but it's worth building up um, and getting comfortable with it. But once you're actually moving at a bit more pace, it's a bit easier to kind of get a bit of spring off that first foot. And once you're happy with that, that's you've got a couple of little moves under your belt that you can use to fool the opposition. Happy days. All right. Well, that just about wraps it up for this evening. Um, before we go, just a, a few points. So firstly, thanks again to Jenna Clark from Glasgow City. Um, really kind of her to make herself available for, um, to give you that little message. And remember what she said, she's uh, going to be on hand to answer any questions you've got. So anything you want to ask about um, how she's training just now, wider questions about football in general, uh, you can get questions in um, either yourself or via your parents, AR, um, using email, Facebook, you know, the girls Mogai FC Facebook page and post things here on YouTube and um, whatever you want to do, that's fine. Big thanks again to Martin um, for more stuff that you can easily do in the garden. And thanks to him for pointing us to that um, Cristiano Ronaldo video. Definitely encourage you to have a look at that and really pay attention to some of the points they're making about how he changes direction so quickly, thinking about his low centre of gravity. And think about that in the context of the, the dummies that I was showing in the garden as well. You know, that low centre of gravity and being able to get a good push uh, when you move from side to side is really important there. Um, if you can, I would encourage you to film yourself doing this. Either set up your phone on the side or get someone in your family to film you. And then just watch it back. Look at, you know, how your movement compares to someone like Ronaldo. Um, you can slow it down, you know, and watch it back. It's actually really quite helpful when you can see kind of how your movement compares. So that's about it now then. Um, so until next week, um, please, as always, stay safe, stay active, stay on the ball, and we hope to see you soon. Cheers.